and welcome to my colored pencil slash art supply collection video. The first part will only be colored pencils, both normal and water soluble. And then I'll put a little timer up it at the corner where you can see the rest of my art supplies. So let's begin. First off we have my babies. <laughs> These are my Faber Castell Polychromas. And I do have the 120 set. Here we go. And as you can see, I do not use as many pinks and purples as you guys think I do. None of these has been replaced yet. These are the 150 Prismacolor Premieres. But this box is untouched and are my backups. So let's take a look at my pencil cases. These are the cases I have my Prismacolors. Nice and sturdy and I think they protect them extremely well. I will just show you how much I have actually used my Prismas. I think a lot of you think I barely touched them, but I do. Not so much all of them, but some have been worn down quite a bit. And as you can see, I like them enough to have a whole set of backups. So I like those grays and those muted tones. And the missing pencils are here because I am using them at the moment and don't want to forget it. These are the Karen Dara Super Color Softs 120. These are another water soluble pencil, but I believe these can be used as regular pencils as well. They are great and come in such a huge variety. The box is of okay quality, but I need to buy myself a pencil case for these because it's just so unhandy to color with a metal tin. Here we got one of my pencil rolls. This roll contains my, you guessed it, <laughs> Karen Dars Luminance. I have the full set and I'm not sure what I think about these. I don't think I have tested them enough to really tell, but we will see with time. I think I should do a luminance challenge. These are my Derwent Artist pencils. I do have the big wooden box. I do have the 120 pencils. And uh, yes, a few is missing, but you'll see why in a bit. The box is awesome. Very un unhandy when you're coloring, but come on, this is awesome. <laughs> right? And they're beautiful, nice soft colors. Just how I like my colors, you know I'm not in very much into brights. But they are very hard, and most coloring books doesn't like them. So beware of these. Next up is my Derwent Drawing 24 set. These don't come in any bigger sets. But I wish they did because they are awesome and as you can see they have gotten quite a bit of love from me and I highly recommend these. These are some of my treasures. It is the Derwent Inktense pencils. I love 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 these and they last forever. And in the back here I have three Karen Dash Museum Aquarell pencils and some Faber Castell Art Grip Aquarel pencils just to support my set a bit when I color in my books. Can't recommend these enough. These are my, or some of my newest pencils. These are the Durant Pro Colors. And again, <laughs> I'm guilty of having the 72 set. As you can see, they are still very long. This one moved. And I'm not sure how I feel about these yet, but when I know, I will make a video. Inside this funky pencil case, we will find my Derwent Color Softs. I do have the 72 set. And it is all of them. As you can see, I quite like some of the blues and purples in this set. 
they are really nice and I'm happy to have them. Don't last as long as I wish they did, but great quality. This um, pencil case with cute little bows house my Derwent watercolor pencils. So here we have another water soluble pencil and another 72 set. These I haven't touched much yet. I've actually only swatched them. So I can't tell you anything else than I really like the colors. In the next pencil case, we have my Marco Refine pencils, or Refine, however you want to say it. Nice, cheap Asian pencils. Actually, really good quality and amazing color payoff for such cheap price. These are my 100 Crayola pencils. And I really, really love these. <laughs> for the price and everything, they are amazing. They have some of the best names like this one, Fuzzy Wuzzy. If you have watched my Crayola challenge, then you know how much I love these. Can't recommend these enough if you're just starting out. Or even if you have colored for a while and just want more colors. Great value, great quality, go for it. Here we have some fun pencils. These are the Koinol Hardmuth Magic Pencils. And they are quite magic, they're really fun. And I need to use them more. Here you go, I put the lid on backwards it seems. <laughs> Just really fun tricolored pencils. And they are huge and they last forever. These are the Stedler Carrot Aquarel well, watercolor pencils. This is the biggest set of 60. And of course, they are water soluble. And they come in this horrible box with really flimsy plastic. So. I do not recommend you keeping them in this box at all. And as you can see, there was a blue I really liked. <laughs> they are quite nice quality actually, and they're quite cheap. So if you want to try out watercolor pencils, you can safely go for these. Here we have another pencil roll, quite a bit smaller than the last one. And it has my Tumbo Erotitans. I believe this was set number two or three. I'm not quite sure, but Dusty Darks and Pastels. I have a few Marco metallic pencils, some Derwent Burnisher and Blender, Current Dash Blender, and a white gel pen. I like to have this with me on the table at all times. These are the Stedler Ergo Soft 24 color set. These were the first colored pencils I had, actually. Oh, if we could open it, I would love to show you. There we go. This is a brand new set, though, or almost. I got this when Johanna Bassford sent me her Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. They're great for beginners. Seems like I really like these pencil rolls. <laughs> well, they are cheap and they are nice storage. These are the 72 set of Derwent pastel pencils. These I have used a bit for backgrounds, haven't really used them much and to be honest I do regret buying them. So I'll see about how I can sell these. These um, Stabilo soft color pencils, I had actually forgotten about these. I got them as a gift from my grandfather and most of the use comes from him. But these are actually really nice and I think I should incorporate these more. Really soft as it says. Another of my treasures are my 84 New Colors 2 by Karen Dash. And we have some water soluble wax crayons. And these are amazing. I have used them so much, especially for backgrounds and especially colors down here. And as you can see, they look almost untouched. How amazing is that? These are quite expensive, but I do think they are worth it. And you can blend all the colors you want. They are amazing and extremely easy. These are the Derwent 72 Art Bars. 
the art bars are water soluble wax crayons and they are so much fun especially for backgrounds i think but cindy think i'll link her up in the corner does such amazing colorings with things like these so i strongly recommend that you go check her out and these are sorted by tones how amazing is that unfortunately these are discontinued which is really really bad of you Dermot. please fix it these are my watercolors or some of my watercolors these are the ones i actually use my winsor newton cut man lately i have been doing a blue and green background it seems these are great great quality and it seems like one of them did not want to stay <laughs> so you can arrange them however you want i highly recommend these they are cheap easy to use and amazing so go for these if you want watercolors these are my cheap watercolors and they are of the brand Symbellion. and yeah they are just cheap watercolor cakes and i got mine from ebay and i would open them for you <laughs> as you can see they're just watercolor cakes I have used these quite a bit, tried to use the yellow, didn't work so well. And yeah, they're fine. I don't recommend them. If you just want to play around, fine, but don't expect anything great from these. Here we have the Gansai Tampi Stary Colors. As you can see, it's a set of six. And they are just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous can't recommend these enough if you want a lovely shiny and metallic finish to your colorings great these are my two sets of 64 yeah 64 <laughs> soft pastels this one i have never used bought it because it was really cheap and soft pastels were all the rage back then so as you can see they really have never been touched so maybe we should do a giveaway soon. So comment if you would like that. That could be fun. You could get this. And next up we have the other ones. <laughs> these have actually been used and I always have some cotton rounds because that is what I use them with. There you go. Very nice, quite pigmented. And they blend nicely. I have absolutely no complaints about these. Here we have a pile of oil pastels. <laughs> this seems crazy. Yes, I do have Holbein oil pastels. And no, I don't know how to use them. I need to watch more of Cindy's videos, as I mentioned earlier. These are Conti. Oh, and they look like this. If the U looks a bit messed up, it's because I got these as a takeover for my grandpa. And these are 50 uh, Faber Castells oil pastels. I hope these are genuine, but I'm not sure as they are from eBay. And they came with this really silly looking thing. But they have some amazing colors. Here we have the famously hated Stedler Tripers Fineliners. Well, I don't hate them, but I do not like the work I did with these. But it comes in a very cool case. So that's a plus. If you like fineliners, these works well. And I have used them for years and the ink is still fine. So I recommend them. Now this is the pencil holder thingy I have on the table when I'm coloring. Here I have my glitter Posca pens. I have my Sig Clean Colors. My Posca pens. All my white gel pens. As I, you can see I have quite a lot of these Uniball Signo gel pens. I have a toothbrush for backgrounds have some normal gel pens, some Stedler metallic markers, some Stedler pigment mark liners, my erasers, 
and my water brushes and yeah basically anything you need and this is where I store my pencils that I'm currently using and I'm afraid of forgetting which one I have used so they go right in here and at last but not least at all we have my Americana acrylic paint this is in lamp black and it is the best paint you can get for backgrounds trust me on this one just trust me buy this throw out your Posca pens and buy this I also have a smaller one in Wesselberry, not nearly as good. We have my Winsor Newton Gold Ink, amazing. Let me shake it so we can see. Oh, it's, oh, look at this shine, love it. Then I have some Coliro Pearl Colors, and this is the Unicorn one, and Rose. And I'm sure this is no surprise to anyone, the rose gold. Thank you for watching my colored pencils and art supply collection. If you want a flip through of my swatch books, just tell me and I will make a video for you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.